Breathing Statues is a really magnificent work that we've really enjoyed delving into. It's pretty remarkable how Anna weaves the different Beethoven quotations together almost so seamlessly, one transitioning into the, another. And I think the way that she approaches writing for string instruments is so warm and so lush and captures all the sonic capabilities of a string quartet. What I find quite interesting in drawing the comparisons between the influence of Beethoven in Anna Klein's work is that she manages to draw that human emotional side that Beethoven is so famous for and really brings it out in a way that draws from the past but makes it relevant for the present. The title Breathing Statues comes from a poem by Rilke called On Music, where he says music is the breathing of statues. And I thought that resonated a lot with the musical ideas and also the image of a string quartet really breathing together. Beethoven was so famous for creating captivating, incredibly intense moments of silence in his music. It's a, a really unique talent when any composer can take silence and really uh, use it as effectively as Anna does. And then I look for contrasting materials where the string quartet almost sounds like a rock band, very aggressive, um, repeating chords. So I take this contrasting material, the very tender breathing uh, music with this very aggressive, more angular music from Beethoven and put it through my own lens. You feel those moments of anguish, those moments of relief, um, even the, the title, Breeding Statues. Um, you feel immediately that it is really a full body experience, um, everything about being a human being, really. Um, and I think that's a really special element that Anna Klein has captured in this piece. <laughs> 